Hey guys, if you are an email developer or want to become an email developer, here are 10 platforms that you should know about. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. You already know this platform. Uh, we talk about email development, right? And it's a great way for people to get started in web development in general. It's a great way for you to be able to find your first job and start getting some experience. So today I want to go in and give you guys some gems and give you guys some knowledge on what type of email platforms you guys should be learning or trying out to be able to cover, you know, when someone goes in and asks you, Hey, do you know about this platform? Right. Or do you know about this other platform? You don't want to go on that interview and be like, uh, nah, you don't want to do that. Okay. So you want to make sure that you know about these platforms, even if you are not an expert on them, but have knowledge about them. Okay. All right. And the first one that we have here guys is drip.com. Okay. Uh, this platform does use liquid. So for those of you guys that be wondering, man, am I going to be able to use my liquid knowledge? Like, yes, drip.com uses liquid to set up their uh, email templates. So again, it's a pretty cool platform. It's actually pretty affordable too uh to get started with so a lot of small companies choose drip.com uh to get started with okay another one that we have right here is constant contact uh this one has been around for a very long time we could say this one is for the small to medium-sized businesses okay a lot of different companies do use them right uh, again you have floral design sienna farms right so again, there's this a couple of more companies that do use them. Uh, but again, this is like for small to medium sized businesses. Now, the next one that we have here is ConvertKit. In ConvertKit, I will say it's a platform that a lot of social media influencers use because it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's very easy to use. Like this is probably the easiest one okay um the automation on it it's very straightforward right a lot of people as you can see maggie rogers arno sorschneider and right? the terminator uses this one right um a, a lot of singers entrepreneurs right of course one of the person that has made this the most popular is uh pat fling again he's an entrepreneur podcaster youtuber okay <laughs> right so he he does this right he uses this fantasia uh, a lot of people use this this platform because it's just very straightforward um and it's easy to set up your campaigns and your automations now the next one that we have right here is mailchimp i think almost every single person that's watching this right now if you ever thought about doing email development or thought about even getting started like i'm pretty sure you have heard of MailChimp, okay? And yes, MailChimp has everything that you need. Um, it can definitely go in and serve the small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and even, you know, enterprise-level companies. This company's huge, okay? Uh, MailChimp was acquired by Intuit, the same people that own QuickBooks and, and all of that. So it's, it's a very good ecosystem. Now, the next one that we have here is Active Campaign. And Active Campaign, we could say, is one of the oldest companies doing email marketing, right? Um, again, I remember, I don't know, probably like early 2000s. Like, I remember people telling me about Active Campaign. Um, again, when I was like doing music and stuff like that, and people had told me about uh, the platform. And again, this is how you will sign up users and email them about your music videos and this, this, and that. So I'm telling you, this company has been around for a very long time. And as far as like their automations is top notch, um, as far as like setting up your, your emails and, and your templates is really, really good. Again, I've heard nothing but good things about, uh, you know, active campaign again, uh, I will say this one is for small to medium sized businesses. Okay. The next one is Clavio. Okay. So Clavio, it's probably the most popular e-commerce email marketing platform that's out there. 
Okay. So for example, right, this company started, I believe, with an app on Shopify and then from there branched out to being its own company where it can integrate with any type of uh, service or company that you might have. Um, but initially it started with being like an exclusive uh, app for Shopify, right? So again, as far as e-commerce is top notch, it's like first party integration with, with Shopify, we could say. <laughs> like literally, we use this at codingphase.com. Uh, we used to use ConvertKit. Now we use Clavio. And I can tell you guys that if you're looking to learn a platform, learning Clavio, it's one of the ones that you really want to learn. Because they're so integrated with Shopify, so many companies use it just by default in a sense, right? Like if you create a... Shopify store, let's say you're a drop shipper, right? You start in your first store and you want to start doing email marketing. There's no better one than Clavio. So imagine this, all of the customers from Shopify, right? We could go in and say, well, since it's like a first party integration, right? People are going to choose Clavio over anything, right? That's just the truth, right? So again, if you go in and you learn this platform, Right. This is something that is going to help you out to get into that e-commerce world. All right. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, we are adding a course for Clavio on codingphase.com. So I definitely recommend for you guys to go check it out. By the way, guys, this video is brought to you guys by codingphase.com. Right. If you guys haven't heard of the platform, come check it out okay again learning to code has never been easier since we dropped okay we don't teach coding as a hobby learn the skills that are actually worth something right like we focus exactly on the things that is going to help you get a job make money on the side and create your own business right so every single skill that we focus on like for example the different career path content editor html email developer this tool right here are great ways for you guys to get started in the tech industry, right? And then from there, continue learning about front-end development, back-end development, right? Maybe specializing on something like React development, Shopify theme development, and now we even have XR development, okay? So yes, <laughs> it's a great platform, okay? We focus on the things that's gonna get you paid, all right? So if you wanna check it out, come check it out. And like I said, we are gonna be adding a Clavio course uh, to the platform because again, I can attest to it. Hey, this is like the best platform for uh, Shopify when it comes to email service uh, providers that's out there. You should definitely learn it. Okay. Trust me when I'm telling you guys, if you go and search on Indeed or LinkedIn or ZipRecruiter or Dice.com, you're going to see so many e-commerce companies that use Clavio. And not only do they do email, they also do SMS. Okay. Pretty much text messages too. Okay. So it's a great platform. Now, the next one that we have right here is HubSpot. Okay. HubSpot, it's one of the OGs, is, is a very popular uh, company. Uh, they also have uh, tools for email marketing. Again, HubSpot is a CRM and they basically have all of the tools that you need to run your business, right? And um, again, they also have marketing sections for it too, okay? So if you're looking to learn a platform to be able to deal with, you know, let's say medium size to enterprise level companies, uh, these are the ones that they're going to be using a CRM and they're the ones that's going to be using something like HubSpot, okay? So yes, definitely learn HubSpot. Um, there's nothing but good things that I could recommend. Um, as far as like the platform itself. Uh, we don't teach on coding phase HubSpot for email marketing yet, um, but we do give you an introduction to HubSpot through the content management systems course. Okay. Definitely go check it out if you guys are interested. Okay. Now the big daddy, again, okay? this is the one, this is the big boy. Okay. This is Salesforce, my guys. Okay. So Salesforce hub, right? This is the, the marketing hub by Salesforce, right? Um, I believe it's like Salesforce marketing cloud, right? Uh, pretty much 
this is one of the biggest companies in the world. Okay, guys, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Uh, they basically work with all of the big companies uh, that's out there. You know, Salesforce is huge. Okay. It's a whole ecosystem. <laughs> you could literally become a Salesforce developer and just stick to Salesforce for the rest of your life. Like there's so much things to do here um, as far as a platform, right? And, you know, all of the companies that use them, it's, it's a lot of big companies, okay? This is like enterprise level, right? Um, you know, really big companies that are going to be using uh, Salesforce. And yes, Salesforce has a marketing hub. And in here, you are able to go in and set up the email campaigns, okay? Now, I'll be honest with you guys. If you learn Salesforce, this is what's going to get you the most money. I'm being honest, right? If you look it up, for example, like an email developer that knows Salesforce could easily start eighty-five to $95,000 a year. Starting. Not just like, oh, man, I got to do a year, two years. No, starting. You could easily get, uh, you know, $80,000, dollars $90,000 um, just to start off, right? And then with a year of experience, two years of experience, you're looking at 120 and above. And as you become more of an expert, um, then from there, you're going to go in and make even more money, okay? Uh, so yes, learn Salesforce. Um, by the way, they do have a Salesforce bootcamp for the marketing hub. Um, look it up, Google it, right? If some of you guys have the link, y'all can post it on the description or post it on the comment section. Um, right now I don't have the link. I can't find it. Uh, but they do have a boot camp, which is like 200 and I think like 200, $250, but I'm going to be honest, it's a hundred percent worth it, right? If you're looking to learn how to code, emails and, and get into email development, you come to codingphase.com and then from there you add the Salesforce bootcamp to your knowledge that opens up the doors for you to be able to go in and apply to those positions, right? Salesforce again is huge. If you are able to work at a company that uses Salesforce, go for it because I'm telling you guys right now, if you could get in there, man, you're going to make a lot of money. All right. So the next one that we have right here is Soho, right? And Soho is also another CRM. Um, Soho, we could say, serves every type of business from small, medium to enterprise level, right? Um, it's a very old company. They've been around since God knows when. I remember working, you know, in a warehouse <laughs> back in the days. And the warehouse, um, not the owner, but one of the the guys that were in charge of the warehouse um they had soho that was the first time i seen soho i was like what is soho right and yeah so again this is has been around since god knows when right and soho is also like another we could say like another crm service right they have everything man crm mail right they have analytics they have so much like it's crazy right like you know the companies that use them you know you can see per um, pure light amazon right um shoot you could go in and and see all of those companies delta marriott right uh hot star whirlpool hyatt like yeah like the big boys okay because it's a very well-known company okay and they're global like they're all over the world like they they work with every company out there so if you learn soho you can pretty much work anywhere in the world okay the next one that we have right here and it's the last one right is actually campaign monitor this is another one that has been around for a very long time right um, a lot of companies use them we could say this is like an alternative like how can I say this? This is more of an indie company, right? Like um, a lot of indie companies, like, you know, small startups, right? They'll use Campaign Monitor. All right. So we got 10 companies here. Now, what do you do? Do you go in and learn every single one of them? No. To be honest with you, that will be wasting your time. Okay. You learn only three. 
Okay, out of the 10 that we show you here, you get to choose three of these companies and you go and you learn how to use them. Because to be honest with you, once you learn one of them, you pretty much know all of them. Okay, they all do the same thing. They do email automation, they do segmentation, they do capture of emails, right, etc. Like they all do the same thing. Okay, and they're all doing it in a similar way. So once you learn one, you pretty much know all of them. But you want to learn at least three of them so you can go in and say, hey, I'm very diverse as an email developer. Okay, so for example, let's say I want to go in and I wanted to choose three of them. I will say I would choose MailChimp, right? That will solve the small to medium sized businesses, right? I would choose Clavio because that will cover all of the e-commerce and, you know, medium sized to enterprise level companies that might be using Clavio, right? Um, and then from there, I would choose something that will be at an enterprise level, right? Between HubSpot, Mark, uh, Marketing Hub from Salesforce or Soho, I would probably choose Salesforce, okay? Uh, because again, they pay the most, most of the companies that's using them is going to pay you the most, right? Now, again, you could also go in and say, you know what? I'm going to mix match this, right? Maybe you don't have access to learning Salesforce, or maybe you don't have the budget to be able to learn Salesforce. Guess what? Go in and learn Soho or HubSpot. Both of these are really great, you know, as far as like job opportunities and companies that are using them. Okay. So again, just go in and, you know, mix match, right? Go in and choose one for small businesses, one for medium sized businesses, and one for enterprise level. That's how I will go in and tackle this. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Which ones do you guys know, right? If you are an email developer, which platforms from here you already heard of or are actually using within your job, okay? Um, and yeah, man, for those of you guys that are new, don't forget, go to the links in the description, get that 20% off on codingphase.com, get started today. By the way, the Tech Accelerator is still open. Uh, you guys can go in and book a session with me and we could discuss if the Tech Accelerator and the Diamond Membership is something that you guys can find useful for your journey. And yeah, we'll conversate about it and, and I'll answer all your questions, okay? So you could book a session with me directly right there on the link in the description after you watch the free training, all right? So yeah, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.